Charlie Hurt, Washington Times opinion editor and the author of Still Winning, Why America Went All In on Donald Trump and Why We Must Do It Again. Charlie, good to see you tonight. Good to see you. It's so interesting to look back at the Boris Johnson path. He was the mayor of London, as we pointed out. Then, you know, after he led the Brexit movement, um, you know, he sort of got pushed aside. Theresa May took over. She wasn't a big fan of the whole idea. But then she made him foreign secretary. But then he bolted because he didn't like the way things were going with how she was trying to pull it off. Yeah, and I think that that's kind of the key to why uh, Boris Johnson and Donald Trump get along very well is because they're just so uh, totally, uh, you know, unconventional. They're willing to sort of uh, uh, take on campaigns that other regular politicians uh, would never dream of touching. And, of course, Brexit, you know, all the experts, much like Donald Trump's election, Brexit, uh, all the professionals in, in England said that this was not going to happen. It was not something anybody knew needed to worry about. And we remember all of the people in the United States saying the same thing about Donald Trump. And uh, and these guys, they're, they're both guys that really, they like to be discounted. And they like to have uh, people say that they don't have a, ch a shot at something. And then they, they love proving everybody wrong, yeah. especially the experts. It, it, well, he's going to have an uphill battle. Yeah. Um, and, and as David rightly pointed out, he will go to former government. He'll go to Buckingham Palace uh, and meet with the Queen to do that. Uh, she's been down that road many, many times. But, you know, as she watches all of this unfold, and the rest of Great Britain does as well, they have a very similar dynamic going on there that we do here. They've got a very hard left that gets a lot of attention, Jeremy Corbyn, and then they've got Boris Johnson on the other end of the spectrum. Which way they're going to end up going, I think, will be very informative to all of us around the world. Oh, I think, without a doubt. But I do think that, you know, it's important to remember that, uh, you know, Brexit did happen, the vote did did happen, and it has survived a lot of efforts by uh, people, the establishment uh, to undermine it. But, you know, these are the people who uh, stood up for, uh, stood up against uh, Adolf Hitler all alone. They're the people that, and obviously the United States came in and, and uh, you know, helped defeat Hitler. But, but the, for a period there, they were the only people standing up for what they believed in. And, and when I think about that, I think that it do, does not surprise me that there might be sort of a silent majority there that really does uh, yearn to have their independence back. They're proud people. And they're, they have good reason for being proud people. Uh, and so I think that all of the experts who are Yet again, uh, and I agree. I mean, it is. A, it is. A, it seems like an insurmountable task that he's got uh, between now and October 31st. I, but I just, I don't put it past him. Yeah, it seemed like nobody liked the mushy middle ground um, right. and that, you know, he's going to push for the hard Brexit, to be sure. Uh, and whether or not those numbers have grown in this in this stretch of time will be interesting to watch, I think, for Americans as well. Just last question for you on Iran, because Jeremy Hunt, um, who was the, is the foreign secretary in the U.K., also ran against Boris Johnson. Um, he wants there to be a coalition in the Persian Gulf to help each other get through the Gulf safely. Um, is, is that going to materialize? And will Boris Johnson be the right ally for President Trump against Iran? I think so, because I think both of them look at uh, all problems as, you know, in unconventional ways. And, and if you look at the situation in the Gulf right now, uh, it is unacceptable that you have Iran, uh, uh, you know, basically committing piracy on the high seas. It is totally unacceptable. Um, that doesn't mean that, you know, we should go to war or anything like that. But it, it does need to be stood up to. And I think that both uh, Donald Trump and Boris Johnson are people who are willing to just see the, the, the you know, see it in very plain terms that this is unacceptable. Acceptable. Kind of like cousins across the pond. What are we going to do Sunday? when they're gone and we have to go back to covering like normal, boring politicians? I'm going to quit. I'm going to. I'm going to. Don't quit, Charlie. I'm There's go, always going to be a crazy politician gonna, around. I'm going to go to farming or something. Although that's really hard work. Thank you, it's true. Thank you, Charlie. Good to see you tonight.